Sweet, we're recording. All right. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Cobra Kai Nation. I have the mastermind, the one and only, Gianni Dicenzo. Hello. Yes, I am the one and only, because no one else wanted to be like me. And that's sad. <clears throat> I think you're being too humble there. I, I okay, thank you. Everybody wants to be Dimitri. How you doing, bro? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm, uh, you know, I'm chilling. I'm surviving. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm so happy to have you back on. So thank you for coming on. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just can't believe our master plan that we've been discussing is uh, <laughs> offline. It's, it's actually really exciting. Yes. Our global domination. Yes, I'm scared of how successful we're gonna be. I I'm scared yeah. of us. You know, I I generally feel like it's it's going further than Chris and Silver ever have in their oh. entire life. Simpletons compared to us, <laughs> they, they don't have the skill or the money we have, right? Or the mind, you know? Or the what mind. What is Cobra Kai now? What is Cobra Kai like? This is we're playing chess out here, aren't we, Jenny? We're playing three-dimensional chess while they're playing checkers. They're not even on the same <laughs> dimensional plane as us. The only Fair thing enough. I will say they have that we don't is a killer ponytail. A yeah, really nice true. Ponytail. Yeah, I think when you're playing the villainous role, you got to have the look. I don't think any of us are equipped with that, unfortunately. You know, I'm trying, trying to grow something out. It's you know just... what? Season six, okay. Dimitri, ponytail. We got to see it. Yeah. We got to see it. All right, just for you. If you see a ponytail on me in season six, you know that things are in motion, and I'm we're beginning to take over. <laughs> uh, Janet, it's so great to have you back on. Uh, like I said, thank you for coming on. I want to talk to you about obviously um, your experiences with coming to or going to Comic Cons. Obviously, uh, it was nice to bump into you in <coughs> LA for the Cobra Kai Live and Badass event. That was amazing. Huh. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot that's happened since we last spoke in January. Like so much has happened. It's you know, you've been busy and you know, everything was season five. So yeah, we'll we'll get to season five. I mean, that's obviously the biggest season yet. Um, but yeah, tell me. You you've recently celebrated your birthday. So I already mm. said it, but happy belated birthday. Thank um, you, thank you. But yeah, like what you were saying to me offline about your your first experience of alcohol. Tell me about that. Yes. Yes. Um, so we were talking about it offline. Uh, I did a mini celebration for my birthday and then I went off to Belgium and I was like gloating about, oh, I turned 21. I can drink now. And the people there, you know, they they could drink since they were 16. So they they did not care about me. They were just like, oh, you stupid American. Just, just drink something. No. We have fantastic yeah. beer. Just drink it. Uh, I did not drink it, though, because I cannot handle any alcohol. Not that no. I'm a lightweight, though I might be, but I just hate the taste of it. And so I, I told you, yeah, I, I had a pina colada for the first time and Classic. it was good because I didn't taste any alcohol. I'm a little Yeah, that's angry. a really interesting start. I know most people like, like when I, when I first tried it, I think I just had like a sip of a beer or like a bit of wine. Uh, I just remember going, like, I didn't like it. At all. Yeah. I well, so like growing up, you know, I had like a, a sip here, a sip there. You know, it's like, oh, try this. It, it's bad. I hated all of it. Not not something I recommend. But um, you know, cocaine's always good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell I'm me sorry. that Silver gave you his new dose of. Silver's I can delight, tell you whatever you call it. I understand why Silver is a madman. He. No, no, that is not canon. Do not listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> not canon. This just, I'll shut up. But yeah, I had a great 21st birthday. I had family over. Uh, they gave me a, a bunch of like shot glasses and stuff like this. I'm just going to put Diet Coke in it. Uh, they're really cool cups. <laughs> but uh, that's all that's going in there. That's it. That's all you need. It's right just now. a nice cold beverage. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Nice frosty little. Oh, oh. Oh, that's not alcohol, by the way. Disclaimer: This is oh. um Seven Up. Okay, so before people start thinking what? I'm, I have like a whole glass of vodka. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not crazy. We're not I'm Johnny Batman. Lawrence. We yeah, I feel like Johnny Lawrence. What kind of Seven Up is purple? Oh, this is the glass. It's badass. Oh, isn't it? oh, I was like, 
It's you like look a two like, tone. My God. Okay, I'm I'm dumb. I thought you were like drinking laundry <laughs> detergent there. It looked violent. Oh no, I just got right before this. I got some color dye and put it in, and then I'm like, yeah, Johnny, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the perfect way to mess with something. He's not gonna know. <laughs> I took an entire case of water and I filled each one with green dye because I was a madman. And then <laughs> no one else would drink it. And my parents made me drink it by myself and I hated it. it took months. Wait, really? You actually did it? I put, but it was just a little <laughs> drop. I thought I'd be like, hey guys, wow. we got some cool water yeah. today. No. To be fair, you put a drop of that in water. It, it literally changes so quickly. Like that's all you it need. Does. You don't need like a lot yeah. of it. And I shook um, them too. I made sure. Make sure they were green. <laughs> Yo, this is a uh, this is Hulk serum. You want to turn into yeah. the big mean green? Yeah. Fighting machine. Uh, <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? That's it. Um, I mean, if Dimitri had that, I mean, uh, he'd be too OP for Cobra Kai. But yeah, they had to they had to nerf him. They had to make him. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think if he had the Hulk serum, I think he would still be too skittish to fight. I, or or something I don't know. <laughs> or maybe you would just like go after Kyler. That would be a mess. Yeah. <laughs> that, that I would mean, be bad. You didn't need the serum for Kyler in the season five finale, which yeah, we will get to. But yes. oh, what a moment! I love that mm -hmm. moment. Like, and then you call him bitch as well. That that was badass. I actually added that myself. That wasn't in there. I, oh, that I was improv. Like that. Oh, I I I'm thought so you glad. know because yeah, I thought it was like a good. I thought, what was something that Kyler would say if he had just beaten up Dimitri? And that's yeah. what kind of came to my mind. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to let Dimitri sink down to that level for a second. He's earned it, you know? And uh, yeah, we <laughs> kept it. It was fun. Yeah. I love beating up Joe, who plays Kyler. He's so nice, <laughs> which makes it so much fun. I'm sure he loves, when he gets a chance to beat someone up, I'm sure he enjoys it. But he knows it's like, oh, it's not going to last long. Because then someone that's else is like, giving him the beating so yeah it's yeah a, it's a give it's and take relationship. relationship yeah yeah mm. exactly. exactly right you spoke the words before i even said them we See, yeah we're on, we're on the same plan. page yeah it's part of the master plan we're up, right up right up there um yeah <laughs> but tell me about those experiences there with comic-con i mean obviously you went to belgium for comic-con mm. with Sherlock, which was which looked really fun and then obviously yeah. before that we'd uh, obviously met at Comic-Con Liverpool, which was fun too. But yeah, how's that Comic-Con experience been for you for, you know, the first time? Yeah, it's been crazy. Uh, I can't remember. I think I started doing conventions like a year ago. And before that, mm. the only places I had really gone to was Georgia to film Cobra Kai uh, and Arizona because I have family there. Uh, and so I really just didn't travel a lot. And then here comes like a thing where it's like, hey, do you want to get paid to travel around? I'm like, yeah, okay. It was awesome. Um, so I, I've been to quite a few states. I, I eventually want to go to all 50 of them. Right now, I really want to go to Hawaii. But I don't know if they oh, do conventions. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I, I just want to go somewhere kind of tropical, beachy, you know? Yeah, uh, why not? But I think, I, I yeah, I think my favorite place has been Belgium so far uh we went to a uh a place called ghent there um and it's like traveling back in time you have like the cobblestone walkways all the buildings are super old uh we stayed mm -hmm. in a hotel that it was originally a post office which was really fancy it was like a two level sort of thing like the bed was on the second floor the only weird thing was the bathroom was downstairs and the sink was upstairs. So, and it was kind of treacherous stairs. They were very steep. So I would have to like wow. go all the way downstairs, go to the bathroom, yeah. come all the way back up, wash my hands. It was a chore. But other than that, it was great. The people <laughs> were great. I ate like 15 waffles. Um, <laughs> oh, you got it, a lot awesome. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so bad. I, mm. I'm i sad though because I, we, I did get to go to Liverpool, but I didn't get to like look around at all because i had to go off and film uh so i literally flew in i slept immediately because the next day i had to go to the convention uh and then we went to a little restaurant in, in the evening that's kind of what we like to do uh yeah. and then i went next day to the convention again and i think literally from there i had to fly out to georgia to film so 
Yeah, no time. I got to see... No, I didn't even get to see... I got to see the Beatles statue, which was cool. Yeah, that's by the... Yeah. Um, that's not too far from the exhibition center, yeah. is it? I remember seeing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we walked there. Uh, mm. It was very cold that day, uh, but it was good. And... I think that was... Um, was yeah. that... I think that was that like after I bumped into you because like me and my friend Jacob, we were like, we just got in Liverpool like not long, yeah. and then we just wanted to have a wander by the docks because we had so many things about the Albert docks, to so nice. Yeah, and then I remember seeing you guys, and I was like, wait, oh look, there's, there's Jesse, Joe, and Jenny, and everybody else. I was like, oh, yeah. Okay. I think cool. yeah, we did <laughs> run into it. yeah because we were walking by the docks. So yeah, hey, it's this yeah world. yeah so. I was, yeah. I was just like, what's the odds in that? Like, the timing yeah. was up here again, Jenny. Up here, <laughs> we got it. We're on. We're in. Got Zoom, it. Yeah. yeah, that's so crazy that we we bump into each other so much for being so far away from each other. I see I, you more than most of my cousins. It. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that's awesome. Maybe we got to do yeah. the, we got to do the DNA thing. I mean, Jesse was telling me he recently did um or back in in May he said he did like a DNA test his family heritage and apparently he's like half british or something so Ooh. that's just oh, that blew my mind i was like okay so that means we're we're brothers now <laughs> yeah it's somewhere in there you gotta dig a little deeper you'll find it damn i could be yeah. uh i'm italian on my dad's side uh mm. and irish on my mom's so i, I don't know i I've, I've wanted to to do a dna test but i'm scared of what i'll find I don't know. Yeah, because like it, it's not just like your family heritage. It's like you, you know, your genetics. It's like, like medical, right? Yeah, because oh, you heard about Chris Hemsworth recently. Like that was, that yeah, was quite scary. That's like, crazy. Uh, yeah, that would be crazy. Like I know, I think I heard something about you can find out like how you can die. I don't even know if that's still a thing, but it's I, like, dude, I already have diabetes. Wanna... I don't need more things. <laughs> I, don't need it. Yeah, I mean, that's... I think that's just. I think that's when, like, you have newborns, you can like find out their genes. So it's yeah. like, I, nah, that just never, never. Would you want to yeah. know well, how you die? Would Would you want to know how you die? No. Oh my god. Like, you know would you want to I... know when you die? So would I rather want to know how I die or when? Yes. You can only w know one or the other. So if you only know how you die, could happen tomorrow. But if you only know when you die, like up until that moment, you could just be terrified and like, oh, this isn't going to happen. And then alligator kills you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know See, what's scary. Season eight finale, I fight an alligator. <laughs> That's what I've been. I'm saying I think my favorite thing would be if Dimitri died in the least karate way possible. Like an off camera. <laughs> Like, oh, he ate like 20 hear... Belgian waffles. Yeah, he ate 20 Belgian waffles and he just he got so constipated he just exploded. <laughs> or, or, or he was mauled by a bear off camera. Um, yeah, there's not gonna be a funeral. We have a tournament to do, so eh. <laughs> <laughs> they just skip it and they say, Oh, the yeah. Sekai Takai. Sorry, yeah. Dimitri. Oh, we did the funeral off camera. It's fine. Sekai Takai. That would be horrible. And that's what Dimitri would want for them, though. He's honorable. He's honorable. I mean, it goes back yeah. to what we're saying. He's the most loyal friend in the show. You don't have a friend yeah. that breaks your arm and he forgives you. Like, I wouldn't forgive my friend for a while. That, you know, Only he could um, forgive like that. I'd, yeah, I couldn't do that. That'd be too much. To answer your question, uh, yeah. I don't think I want to know because it's like one of those things. What if you're like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that doesn't happen, but then you die like a worse way? You know what I mean? Mm. Okay, so you're saying you'd want to know when you die. Not how you die. Yeah, in a sense. I, I mean, I'd like to know both because I would be like trying to plan like Batman with the biggest contingency of my life. Oh. But you but know, what if it's I would try and avoid things. that. Yeah, it's but it could be like one of those things where it's like, oh, in trying to avoid it, you make it happen. I don't know. That's the thing. Yeah, there's no way around it really. Even if you were to live another yeah. few years, it could still catch up. So. They're both terrible options. I don't know. <laughs> I would say I'd want to know yeah. when I die. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. I think it just I think mm. it's just the moment you find out you're like, uh it's one of them moments. So yeah, I just probably rather not know either, but 
Yeah, that see that would be a pretty crazy one. But like you said, fighting an alligator, yeah, that would be a pretty badass way to go. It would. It would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> There's but a I way. About... Yeah. Wait, sorry, you go ahead. Oh no, no you go ahead. Now you go ahead. Okay. I, I saw a thing on TikTok that there's a way to drown an alligator mid-fight where they have like a thing in the back of their throat that acts as a seal to keep water out. And so if you, oh. while it has your arm in its mouth, if you dig further down, it's supposed to drown it. But it's like, I don't know who in that situation is going to think to do that. Yeah. You know? I feel like I'd lose my arm already if he bit into it, or if it, I don't know. Yeah, you probably but die like, for like bleeding out, maybe because you just start like yeah. losing consciousness whilst you're fighting the alligator. Yeah, see that, and that's it. If you're already in sh uh, like alligator infested waters, you kill that one alligator, another one's gonna come around. I, exactly. I think you're <laughs> just dead. They just be like, all right, they got a meal right after. We're done yeah. with alligator one. Alligator two is gonna come here, and then yeah. that's it. Let's get a freebie. Yeah. It's all bad. It is, yeah. But um, <laughs> wow, we really went into something else, didn't we? <laughs> it's deep. We're it's but part of the I plan. Love this. I yeah, love this. This is just we're, we're just triggering people for to hide the master plan. But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah no, that's a shame you didn't get to explore too much the UK. But like, what, what do you I say know. is what, what? What do you say you got out of this trip other than the great experience with Comic Con? Being able to interact with you know Cobra Guy fans and Gianni fans, mm. but uh, yeah, what did you what would you say you got the most out of this trip from the UK? Uh, out of the UK trip, mm. well, that was like my first international trip ever, right. uh, and so it was my first time flying like sixteen or so hours. I, I think it was. I don't know. Uh, and then we wow. got there, and there was such bad traffic. We we drove for another five hours. A very long day. Um, but wow. it was just really cool seeing a place other than the U.S., you know. Uh, mm. And I think it really ins it, it kind of inspired me to travel more. And I, I love the people there. They were super nice. Uh, I had a lot of people come up to me. My person that helped me out, she was great. She taught us some of, like, the the British slang. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, what is it? A scouser. What is a scouser? I can't remember. Yeah, like, that's the people from Liverpool. They call them scousers. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a yeah. scouser. I'm from like south, so yeah, I'm okay. She said, "I don't know what you refer scouters. to my accent as, but yeah." Oh, okay, uh, but that yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, it was just really awesome meeting people. I'm I'm a scouser now. Uh, I'm from the UK, so <laughs> you, so so I'm guessing you got a good scouse accent then. Oh no, <laughs> you don't want to hear it. I could try. I kind of want to do now. <laughs> what? I'm a scouser. No, I can't. Oh, <laughs> that's, like, yeah? that's quite good. That's quite good. I brought a scouser. I don't know. One of my friends is from Liverpool, and he was like, uh, he wanted to like ask all the cars that they could do their like best scouse impressions, but I don't think he did. Uh, um, oh, yeah. I, I would love oh, to yeah. hear how everyone would answer that. I I think I, Jacob does a good one. Uh, Jacob, who plays Hawk, for anyone that doesn't know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think he he does a pretty good one. Um, he also he did that. He did like the Q and A. Did he? I'm I'm sure he said something in scouts. Uh, uh, the the panel Q and A. I'm sh maybe oh. or maybe he just said something in scouts just for a laugh. I think that was one of my favorite Q and As too, because um, I got to show off my highly flexible uh, elbow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. And uh, Jesse took a picture that looked looked badass because. All the audience was there, and I was sitting in the center, and it looked like I was important, which is nice. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that often, but it was very cool. Uh, I should make that my profile picture. No, I, yeah, I, why I, not? I don't want to miss people. <laughs> uh, but no, that, it was a really fun Q&A. Uh, and then, oh, in that green room, there was just a table just full of British candies. Um, oh, I love the, the chocolate. Right there. Yeah, it was really good. And like I said, I'm very diabetic. <laughs> so I had oh, a great time been, with it. Yeah, the downfall. <laughs> it was so bad. But so, uh, wait, but so no, like, awesome. did you have a try of everything? Like, what, what was it? Like chocolates and yeah. kind of like what kind of chocolate you would have had? The thing I remember most, it was this chocolate that was in the shape of little, uh, like a little frog man, I think. 
Oh, uh, you Fred, know that, right? Fred Freddo's? I, yes, I think so. Something like I that. Yeah, I know Freddo. the one you're talking about, but they're like really small. Like, yeah, they're really tiny, and so you could just like eat a thousand of them. Uh, oh, I think that's yeah. definitely one of the best chocolates out there. Yeah. Oh, it so, was really good. I was, kept eating it. Yeah, I don't. I think if I had, I think if it is Freddo's, then yeah. I mean, I remember just having like four in yeah. a row one time. Because they don't get a lot, but like, oh, they're so nice. I, I just imagine yeah. if Dimitri was a villain, he'd be like eating these Freddos. Like, yeah, tell me the plan again. <laughs> yeah. And then you just, get the next one. In the middle of the entire, like, they're they're like explaining, oh, master, we we finally found it. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the pina colada, like. Get me another one, Jerry. Ah, <laughs> our master plan is finally working. <laughs> Says that as he drinks from the straw. <laughs> yeah, I've got my little. I love straw, that. My little, yeah, and my my umbrella. <laughs> but yeah, like you know, um, yeah, I'm glad you still like kind of got the you you know the the UK experience, mm. I guess at least. But yeah, I'm hoping oh, like you definitely would like to come back here and. Oh, no, a thousand more, percent. Obviously. Yeah, I I want to go to uh London. We didn't get to spend any time there because um it was just too far away from Liverpool, and we just I think eventually everyone else did go without me because I had to leave early. Um, so I'm uh, very sad. Uh, and I think they saw the that. strawberry strawberry fields sign. I think they. Oh yeah. Think, yeah. 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 They saw that. They had a great time doing that without me. Also, it's great. I, I think that they don't. I don't think they realize that this is a syndrome in the making. You know, like with syndrome. Oh. incredible. Like they're just neglecting you, and they're gonna. I think the big surprise for the next season is Dimitri's gonna just betray everybody, win the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna betray all of them. I'm gonna break silver out of prison or something. <laughs> I'll team up with Crease. We'll start our own <laughs> dojo. I don't know. The mastermind. What society. would it be called? Uh damn. I don't <laughs> those three people are very different people, I think. Um so I don't that know is... if they could agree on the misfits. The band of misfits. Because we're all just so it, different. It's just like basically an Avengers team trying to run a karate dojo. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. Except we're all villains and we don't have any powers. Except Maybe Silver, he's rich. Then. So <laughs> what? Maybe what the Thunderbolts. Saying? What are the Thunderbolts? You don't know the Thunderbolts? Am I? It's like the oh, Marvel no. equivalent of uh, Suicide Squad, basically. Oh, oh! I think I've heard of them. They're like yeah, yeah. really like, weird characters, right? Very weird. Like on the team, for example, you have. Uh, general ross the one that absolutely hates banner the one that's like oh. uh always trying to kill hulk um he's like oh. the leader and he becomes red hulk which is like okay. a crazy hulk <laughs> yeah seen that one yeah damn okay it's pretty yeah crazy. we're like that we're the thunderbolts i like that but um but yeah and then uh yeah like going to ghent as well like going to europe is mm. it's got to be fun going out there as well with uh with those experiences but like yeah how does it feel like going to a comic-con because like obviously it's a lot of traveling and you said like inspired you to travel more but like mm. do you feel that you're learning a lot about different cultures whilst you're there even though like you're at a comic-con specifically i think i'm kind of learning a bit about different cultures see the only bad thing about traveling for comic cons is that you usually spend most of the time in the the convention uh, which, you know, it's great. I love meeting people. But um, I think I would want to take separate trips to the same places uh, unrelated to work so I could travel more. Uh, mm -hmm. I did get – the only reason why I think Belgium stuck with me the most was because I, I did get to take the most time to explore that. I, I wasn't in a hurry to go anywhere else. I actually got to yeah. see the castle there, uh, which was really cool. We did the audio tour. And we we learned a, a lot about that. I guess they would throw hot oil off the side of the castle to burn anyone at the bottom, which is <laughs> just so much fun. I love that. 
Uh, so so nice to think about. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I get to learn a, a good amount, uh, mostly yeah. just from like the people that come up and talk to me. I, I hear their stories and, you know, their perspective of things and how they could drink since they were 16. And so I, I am not a real scouser. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, <laughs> they're betraying the cause now. No, well, to be fair, yeah. you know, being being out in Belgium, maybe the master plan was kicking in. You were getting all That's these ideas, getting all these ideas. and then maybe Sholo doesn't even know about this, unless Sholo's mm -hmm. part of the plan. Maybe I don't know. Oh, he's out. No, he's out. Oh yeah, okay. Sholo can bad. find don't his own mastermind him. plan. Yeah, <laughs> but ours is better. <laughs> but that's um that was great uh i mean i've never gone to belgium but i'd love to go but like yeah speaking of now traveling back to la let's say oh. um for season five obviously uh cobra kai had the i think it was the first very big premiere um yes and that was that was obviously a big deal for the show pretty much everybody was there um, yeah how was that experience for you that must have been pretty wild <laughs> That was uh the at the Microsoft Theater, right? That you, that's the one you're talking about. Oh no, is the it, uh the red carpet like uh premiere for season five, like the um the, the, oh the, the Paley the Fest. No, no, no. Wait, you went to the the one where they like showed the first two episodes of season five. Yes, it was um, in the well, so... it was in it was in the park. I can't remember the name, but it was in a. Oh, like, okay, yes, park. that's right. Yeah, yeah. We did. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that was crazy. Um, it it was like the first big premiere we had had. Uh, we did one, I think only one other premiere before that, um, yeah. with the exception of we did the Paley Fest, but we just we showed the the two episodes and uh, that was cool. Um, but yeah, we had only done one other actual premiere before that, and it was when we were still with YouTube and we were fairly wow. small. Um. And so it was just kind of a, a smaller thing, you know, just cast and crew hanging out. The this one though, the most recent one, that was crazy. Um, yeah, it, it was the first time we had done anything that big. I actually had right. to spend most of the time waiting in line for my pizza, which was <laughs> it was fine. I'd already seen the you know episodes, but I was kind of sad uh, that the pizza took so long. But it was great. Pizza. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, it, it was a lot of fun. Got to meet a lot of great people. Uh, it was just cool getting to meet everyone because, you know, with COVID, that's when we kind of became big. Uh, right. So we didn't get to really celebrate at the time. Uh, and now we're only just now starting to get to do that. Hopefully mm. we do something again for season six. Um, I'm not saying that there's going to be a season six, but <laughs> it's going to be a season. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it was awesome. It was cool. Mm. yeah that, that whole experience like you said like because of covid you didn't get to really celebrate the show and yeah. obviously season five was such a incredible season the mm. best and biggest yet so like just to be able to do that that must have been great and just to catch up with everybody as well because mm. probably has been a while you haven't seen certain people um yeah it, it is but, tough because people are starting to mm. i think move around more uh like across the state and stuff like that so it's like ah uh, right can't see each other as often but you know we have each other's numbers so we'll stay in touch i still play uh games with jacob and sholo although jacob found a new game that we're, we have to play now and i'm kind of sad what, what are you what are you what are you thinking to play now there's uh this one game called uh flesh and blood it's a new one it's like magic but i don't uh, know i think i i think i know the one yeah yeah so now I, I think I have to waste all my money on more <laughs> cards. I just got a decent collection of magic cards. And now. And it's like, no, Jenny, we got a new game. Here now you we're playing that one. <laughs> it's sad. But, you know, I'm getting um for my 21st birthday, my parents and uh, my aunts, actually, they all chipped in. They wanted to get me a special gaming table. Uh, it's like got a green felt center with like little trays and um it's made like entirely out of wood my uncle's making it so hey uncle uncle joe if you ever see this thank you man um <laughs> and he's a carpenter he's great uh oh, and great. yeah i'm really excited it's it's gonna take a little bit longer for it to be ready but when it's ready 
Oh, we're going to play. If you're ever in town, you got to come over. Do you know how to play Magic? Do you know, you? I've actually never played it. You're okay, gonna... you're dead to me. So. Yeah. No, because uh, no, <laughs> I just haven't had... I don't think many people I know are into that sort of thing. It's like D&D. Like, yeah, yeah. It was by the I, same I, people. It's such a... Right? It's such a yeah. fun idea. Like, I love the creative side of it. But, like, yeah. I don't know many people like that. So, yeah, I think I definitely do want to play it. So, if I'm ever yeah. around, yes, of course. I'll kick your ass at a new game. You <laughs> no, you're gonna, I'm I'm literally dead. Yeah, I'm gonna be schooled. I think Dimitri nah, showed me the I'll weapon. give you my best deck. My my most expensive one. It's rats. It's just a bunch of rats. So it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Did you ever play Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Uh, I did. I've never really watched Yu-Gi-Oh or anything like that. I did uh Digimon and Oh yeah. What is it called? Bakugans. Oh, back uh, you going. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was so young when I started doing it, I didn't know how to play it. So I would just, I just enjoyed rolling the little guys. I didn't do it. Did you do Yu Gi Oh? <laughs> yeah, I used to play, I used to play quite a lot. I mean, I was such a fan of it. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really watch the original series, I watched the ones after that. But like, just, okay. yeah, I play it sometimes with mates, like physically. Uh, okay. And then on my like Game Boy Advance, I don't know if you ever played on that. Like, uh no old game boy devices like there was one yeah, yeah. where like you could play old games it was great yeah it was fun yeah, yeah oh that's cool i i don't know why but i've been going down a rabbit hole of Yu Gi Oh, even though i've never watched or played oh. any of it i've just been learning a lot about pot of greed that's just <laughs> the, the, yeah. yeah the the card that draws two like from yeah. The deck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 or no i think it's three I don't, it, but it's like such a simple card that caused like such a controversy. It's like, it's, it, I think it's banned now. And they, yeah. Oh. They made a bunch of, yeah, because I guess it was just so good that it made it unfair. And they stopped using it in the, uh, the show too, because they eventually banned it. And so they're like, okay, well, we can't have this here. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I've missed out on a lot then because I don't, I, I think when I was watching it, it definitely. Oh, so I think I I, I watched it when uh, there was one called GX, and then after that, okay. kind of just drifted off. Kind of grew up. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, going back to stuff now, yeah. There's like so much Yu-Gi-Oh to watch. I definitely need to check it out. But yeah, part of greed. Yeah. I remember that using that card so much. And yeah, it would yeah. cause a little bit of controversy. It's like Terry Silver bribing the ref or something. It's like, hold it's on, exactly. you got this card now? Oh, yeah. come on! It's like, yeah. I'm just gonna draw three cards. <laughs> But yeah, it was just like so useful that um, literally every deck would have it. And it, yeah, it's exactly like Terry Silver. He bribed them into getting three cards. Yeah, in a game like that, he'd be like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just give yeah. me that card. Although he would just yeah. cheat in general. He would. Yeah, he would probably yeah. have all that, the Egyptian god cards and then somehow mm. would be able to just put them on without even like tributing any other cards. Like, just. <laughs> super easy i know exactly what you're talking about yes i agree he would totally just tribute <laughs> oh them. you don't oh no no you're not that familiar oh what i was trying I to don't say know any like, of it if you're trying to put on like a really powerful card you have to sacrifice <laughs> the cards that are on play so like oh so imagine like you have three pawns and you you take all of them away and then you can like summon something like more powerful yeah. basically oh that bastard he didn't tribute them <laughs> Right? Am I saying that right? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. We we do have um, something like that in Magic, but it's it's not like a rule for everything. It's just some cards mm -hmm. are like, if this comes into play, sacrifice this. So you have to do it. That's, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, I definitely have to check that out. Like, yeah. I definitely got to play a game or two. Um, season 5 with Dimitri. Now, let's talk about that. that um, this season, like I said, was probably the craziest season yet. Mm. We had so much to unpack. There's just so many great character moments. You know, mm. Dimitri gets some really good moments too. Um, so yeah, what was like your favorite scene to film for season five? Because there's so many great scenes and yeah, definitely a tough one. I would say my favorite scene is the uh, Dimitri selling Johnny a phone because those characters <laughs> they never really interact one on one like that, and I think they just I loved it. 
they just blend together so terribly. Like they're like oil and <laughs> vinegar or, or oil. I'm, you know, they just don't mix. And yeah. it's just so great to see them interact with one another. And uh, it was just cool seeing like Johnny appreciating Dimitri, even if it was just for like two seconds. Um, it was great. And I, I love filming with Billy. He's, he's so much fun. Uh, there was one part and they actually cut it out and I'm sad they did where Aww. after he's like, okay, get back to work. He does his bottle, uh, you know, flip oh, thing. No. And he shoots it, but it, it shoot, it like goes past my head. I literally just hear a, it, it like is a speeding bullet. And I think it hit the camera guy behind me. Uh, so that <laughs> might be why they didn't add it, but it was just like, man, it, it, it's deadly. The, it's like a speeding bullet, man. I've been trying to figure out how he does it, but uh, it's a secret. I don't know. Doesn't he like, like, just sort of like he does that with his like index and his thumb, and they're like, yeah. Or you just sort of it's something because he goes like, boom. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I wish I had a like cap right now so I could try it, but I yeah. don't have. I one. think I don't know if it would work with any cap or if it has to be like a. A cause banquet. Um, <laughs> yeah, just cause specifically. Specifically cause. Sh no should we try the crease crinkle? Sorry, yeah. crease. Do it. No. <laughs> That's I think I can do it with that, though. <laughs> well, that, that would be quite funny. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything. That's... Uh... That's, let's just let Johnny be the expert on that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah that scene happen. was fantastic. I that was fine. I laughed so hard when, like you know, because obviously Dimitri's like, "Oh, I need a summer job now." You know, no more Miyagi Do. Um, yeah, and just how that came to be was so funny, and it also created it's one true. of the funniest moments for Johnny, him being uh, an Uber, which yeah, yeah, was due to Johnny's help or due to Dimitri's help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's a he's a fellow uh, gigolo now. He's got all the gigs in the <laughs> world. Such a weird line. I love it. I love the things they make me say. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> it's I, funny, I love yeah. that. And, and then um, the other cool thing was finally getting to see how the Binary Bros kind of earned their name, like why they're the Binary Bros with the uh, mm. the big finale there, coding and like hacking into you know Silver's mainframe and uh, getting all of his you know files and stuff like that that was that was pretty cool uh i i liked how it was just hawk trying to fight them off while i'm doing this and he like literally gets wiped across the table <laughs> and yeah you I have to the the, yeah there was one thing i wanted to add that you know it might not have made too much sense but i don't know i wanted to like if one of the bad guys had come over here I'd want to take the keyboard and like smash it over their head <laughs> and then go right back to typing. That would have like, been no, really you'd funny. break it. Wouldn't make sense. I'm like, yeah, but come on. I can just imagine like that happening and then the keyboard like keys come off to make it more intense. And then Dimitri's like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have this memorized. Uh, I don't know. Eli. <laughs> okay. We got uh, some more trouble. Yeah, I can imagine yeah. that. But. I mean, I still love the scene because um, it's just, yeah, like it really does reflect the mm. the binary bros relationship, like the way you guys had each other's back, and then it just, I, I just love the um, the moment, you know, Dimitri jumps off, like you guys kind of switch, yeah, yeah, and then you get these, you do this like li little like three badass moves, you know, the kick, and then like you get the get the punch, and then yeah. that mad kick on Kyla, and then you say. One of the greatest lines in the series. <laughs> Bitch. That's it. <laughs> greatest line. Yeah, I made that one up. All improv. Right. And that you have that like that moment. And then yeah, bitch. Oh yeah, I loved it. it it's so great. Funny. Uh I Dimitri's been wanting that for a while. And um I think what what better to sum it up than bitch? I think that's <laughs> great. You know, that's great. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. That's that what one line is going to change improv, the whole me. level of Dimitri's badass. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Now he's a badass, officially. That one line. I, I think the amazing part, though, with that scene is the fact, you know, like I think we've said this before uh, when we last spoke, like, you know, Dimitri, he's a character that has stayed the same, but he's grown with confidence. Mm. 
Mm. And I feel like that moment, the way he was fighting, really reflected the confidence he's had now. And mm. even the situations like what which we come to with uh, you know, Dimitri Eli and Miguel in in season five, episode three, I believe, is when Miguel's back in back um in the valley after the Mexico trip and mm. you know, he's having these issues with Sam and Dimitri's kinda like Showing you he's got, you know, he knows how to deal with a relationship with Yasmin because you guys obviously yeah. have like one of the best relationships in the show, it just works so well. Dude, you would not think that Dimitri is giving love advice. Like looking at him in season <laughs> one, you I wouldn't take any advice from him as far as girls go. Um yeah, man, <laughs> what can I say? Dimitri's a stud now, so yeah, he, he is, yeah. It but is you're thinking about advice, like mm-hmm. What advice would you give Dimitri if you were to be like helping him out with just growing as a person? Man, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I think he's doing such a great job right now. Uh, <laughs> his, his life is going great. Um, mm. Damn, I, I, I don't know. I, I think his life <laughs> is honestly better than mine. Um, no, I, I, I would say you know maybe lighten up a little. You know. Mm doesn't always have to be so cynical about things he he's kind of a, a pessimist a, a glass half empty kind of guy uh i try my best you know to look on the at, at the you know brighter side of things the silver lining whatever um right. but i think he's he's kind of getting there on his own so um i think if he stays on that trajectory he will become the president of the united states <laughs> That's and back 20. to the mastermind plan which will yeah Devour any plan that Silver has ever had of conquering the valley or with Cobra Kai, I guess. He's out. Dimitri's in. That's it. Dimitri Silver? <laughs> See, I've wanted... I, I think the best thing... I For me, I wanted Dimitri to kind of be related to Silver in some way. Just because <laughs> to me, it made a bit of sense. Like, they're both smart. They're both kind of... They have, like, the same build, sort of. Like, you know, Silver's taller. Uh, they both have beautiful majestic hair um, <laughs> and then, yeah I don't know I think that would have been kind of interesting I mean we don't know who Dimitri's parents are yet like he only just got a last name um, so we'll see I don't know hopefully in season six maybe we'll find out who his parents are we'll, we'll yeah see. no Aren't like gonna... I actually, I actually hope we do see uh, a little bit more than the parent side. I know, like, the series is so packed with what it is, but you know, we, mm. I think, with the binary bros, like, you know, they're two characters. I think we all want to see a little bit more with their mm. backstories. Like, I think we only saw Eli's mom in season. It was, was season one or two, uh, but yeah, with Dimitri, yeah. We, we, we got it was such a big deal seeing his surname revealed in the tournament. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I remember hearing some funny theories about oh, it could be related to Terry Silver, but like, yeah, when you think about it, like it would be quite a a reveal because you're so different to him, and it's sort of similar to the whole Miguel thing. He's nothing like his father, but Mm -hmm. you know, it it just shows the difference. Like if yeah, Dimitri was around, that if that is his father, then yeah, like he avoided something there. That's a good thing, but. Yeah, I would like to see that. that is that something you would definitely like to see explored more for Dimitri? So. Just to understand him more. I think that's kind of the only thing that would be missing uh, with Dimitri right now. I, I'm just, you know, I just really want to see. Because I think it's a very interesting kind of parent that would raise Dimitri. Mm. Uh, and I, I would think they'd also... My theory is that it's kind of a single mom sort of situation. Because, you know, he he kind of takes himself everywhere uh and he broke his arm and there was never really anything said about that so i i think the parents whoever they might be are um too busy with some other you know stuff to kind of get involved uh and i think oh am i crazy there there was dimitri got suspended from school for a while there uh for fighting i think after the season two fight they they all kind of got kicked out and you know then finally came back. So I think his parents or parent is, um, you know, I would be very interested to see what the home life is like there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Cause like, I think a lot of fans have made it clear, like, you know, 
Yeah, well, how does Dimitri's parents react to this, everything going on? Like, you know, being yeah. in the tournament as well, you would think they would yeah. have been there to support you. Uh, yeah. And to sort of, yeah, it kind of reflects, like, are they so involved in his life? Or, like you said, what, how's the how's the home mm. life going? Because it's kind of hard to say from what we're seeing. Yeah, uh, I, I think it would be really interesting to also see what kind of parent would... It, it would be because of uh, Dimitri's mannerisms. I think he's a very specific kind of person. And I think that would require a very specific kind of parent or, or something like that. Um, I always thought maybe it was like a single mom that was a lawyer or something like that, you know, mm. uh, something brainy. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. yeah. I'd be interested yeah. to see who knows, who knows what the creators have in store. We'll find out. Mm. You were saying about spinoff, you know, I think a lot of, even myself, I've been thinking, like, you know, if we ever got mm. a spinoff, I think I'd love to see the Binary Bros. Like, I'd love to see you and Jacob. Yeah. Like a buddy cop type of thing. <laughs> but, yes. you no, know, like, it would be great to see, like, you guys kind of have that, that, that you know, that specific development. Because I feel like they've mm. left so much to go into that sort of way with another show or maybe mm. you know, further storyline down the line. But how would you, like, feel about that? That must be... I would love time. it. I think I think it would be a great spin-off if it was like a binary bros uh buddy cop thing like maybe they start a detective agency like they become PIs <laughs> and they they start solving crimes on their own like Dimitri yeah. is like the very brainy one and Hawk is like the muscle of it. Um I think they would be a cool duo like a like a lethal weapon almost. Who knows? Ooh, I, think I would that's like pretty, that. Right, that's like '80s, right? So it kind of fits in, the, yeah, yeah, in the style of things. Um, but I don't know. There's been talk of. Oops, sorry, that's my one. There's been talk <laughs> so of. Uh, <laughs> sorry. It, um, there's been talk of spinoffs, but I don't know if there's anything set or what exactly they would want to do. Uh, what the creators would want to do. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I think like with this whole universe there's so many things you can explore with characters that's the greatness of mm. it and you know it's not just those two we would love to see more from i think it's like any of the youngsters there's so there's so much ahead and mm. obviously because you guys are young as actors you, you know you're gonna have a lot more to bring um so yeah and definitely looking forward to that uh, and hopefully we get something like a spin-off that would be that would be, be cool i i'd be very curious to see like any spin-off like what they would do it'd be interesting mm. I think it'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Multiple yeah. spin-offs, uh one spin-off, hey, I I'm I'm here for all of it. <laughs> a movie? I don't know. A movie, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you heard about that recent uh announcement for the Cry Kid film. The, oh, what was it? Yeah. It was just was that it? they were doing one and it's coming out 2024, I believe. Apparently of Sony the original are... genre? It's not to do with like the Miyagi verse, so it's separate. Oh, so it's a, okay. It's like uh yeah. it's like the new Karate Kid with, um, oh, it's basically it's not even part of the Jaden Smith stuff. It's so okay, yeah. It's like a that. separate, like thing. a reboot of a reboot. Yeah. Whoa, that's yeah. crazy. Okay, it is right. I, I mean, yeah. I find it crazy knowing they announced that when Cobra Kai is still going on, and obviously the success success of the show is. Uh, yeah. you know, down to the creators and all you guys that have been part of it. So it's, I just find it really weird that Sony wanted to kind of do a film. Oh, do like a thing? It. Yeah. I, that, that is interesting. I would love to see uh, a movie in the universe too, but uh, mm. huh, yeah, that, that is interesting. Could be good. Yeah, we'll see. If they want to call me, I'll be the, the new Karate Kid. Why not? <laughs> I got muscles. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I got muscles for days. See, look at that. Look how tough I am. Ah! <laughs> well, hey, as I called you for last time, I believe you gotta have the muscles. If you're wielding Mjolnir or Stormbreaker, you know, so it's gonna be it get Stormbreaker. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I don't think I can lift that, but thank you. Well, I, I, I was uh, when I was at Comic Con, uh, there was a four that just gave me Stormbreaker, and I'm like, yeah, I got it, I can hold it. Just he was like, how? Oh. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's the mastermind plan, isn't it? 
Yeah, he's the mastermind so plan. Yeah, it's part of the plan. I just remember that. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> But the speaking of mastermind plans and being hum, uh, humanly successful or worthy of a title, you know, being the let's say the Sekai Takai, that's that was something pretty crazy that was revealed. Yeah. Um. For you know the future, uh, it was a shame we didn't get to see Dimitri in you know the qualifiers because I think he would have been great support for Eli, especially when he mm. got uh, injured by um, Kenny. Got um, his ass kicked. <laughs> no. did, um, yeah. yeah yeah you got that um oh what do you call it the thing that he did the silver bullet yeah the silver bullet yeah yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> deadly man he killed someone um yeah kenny's like a uh i think he's supposed to be like a prodigy that's like kind of what they're going right. for uh yeah. yeah i think dimitri was you know just busy on his grind you know trying to hustle sell those phones <laughs> Uh, maybe <laughs> earn enough money to to buy more charms for Yasmin, you know, because they keep fighting, I guess. So, yeah, yeah. I I mean, you know, I, it's funny you said about the silver bullet because you know, with the next tournament coming up, I really wonder how they are gonna fare. You know, mm. these students from the valley against you know the best of the best in the world. Like, mm. if you thought about that, like how that's gonna come into play, it's gonna be very interesting to see. Yeah, I think they're going to have, you know, their work cut out for them, especially because if they're doing this international tournament against dojos from across the world, you know, we're talking about dojos that have probably been around for quite a while, uh, you know, especially yeah. in places where karate originates from. Uh, mm -hmm. And you have these people that have been training since they could walk. Uh so I think that, you know, Daniel and Johnny really do have their work cut out for them. You know, I'm glad that they're kind of working together now because I think they're really going to need each other for this tournament. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I think uh, we're all badasses, so who knows? Yeah. Who knows what will happen? Yeah. I mean, you have Dimitri on your side. That's it. Mm -hmm. You're going to win. That's it. That's all you need. And I'll get Stormbreaker or we'll just... We'll just cut the heads off of the As you win, it just like comes to your hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't need it. Yeah. Everyone's just like, wait, so he was an Avenger this whole time? Why why does it matter being a world champion? Just yeah, I'm an Avenger, but I just wanted to get my black belt. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I just fly away. Oh, that's funny. I'm done. But like yeah. I you might have seen or heard a lot of fans were saying, what if Dimitri won? The Sekai Takai, because you know it's such a wild card, and I think it's like an interesting one to to yeah. come with, because you know Dimitri's been such a character of immense growth, and you know yeah. it would be amazing to see him win. Like I, I quite like the idea. I think it it could definitely be possible. Uh, I mean, you know, for as little as Dimitri has had time to train, he already made it to like the semifinals at the All Valley. Uh, so I think he, you know, he's picking things up pretty fast. He's, he's got a great sensei in Daniel. Um, mm. I just love how Daniel had to approach karate very differently with him. Uh, he kind of uses his assets, uh, you know, his ability to anticipate and overthink things to his advantage. And so he can kind of, you know, anticipate what moves someone is doing. And I think that kind of adds to it. And then, you know, he also has the aggressive side of, Eagle Fang and, and Johnny um, working for him. So mm. I think Dimitri is definitely becoming uh, a contender. Um, whether he wins the international tournament, I don't know. Maybe it's possible. Um, yeah, I'm I'm just as curious as everyone else <laughs> what's going to happen. It, it'd be awesome. It's going to be great. Yeah, like there's a lot. It, it's going to be a difficult one to to see because mm. I don't want to see the guys from Valley getting like hurt. Especially if yeah. you know we see students from maybe Sensei Kim's side coming down, and you mm. know what, who else around the world is going to be attending? We don't know, but you know, the one thing I have thought of if you know if they are struggling during the tournament, like I've always wondered, would they have to resort to maybe a bit of dirtier methods when it comes to fighting? Because you know, even though they probably would never do things like the silver bullet, as yeah. you know. Things like that is not what Daniel and Johnny are about. They don't want to do the cheating or anything. Well, if they were forced mm. to, I mean, 
Yeah. If all the things with Cobra Kai and align with global dom domination, like it's kind of a it's, it's a very big big deal yeah. for them. It's tough. I I don't know if um <clears throat> Daniel would ever want to play unfairly. Mm. Even though, you know, Cobra Kai they do a lot. Um yeah. I don't know. It's it's very interesting. And then, you know, we also have Crease out there in the world somewhere. So who knows how right. he fits into into that. Um but I don't know. I think I think they'll try to stay as noble as possible. Ah! <laughs> there he is. Um, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, where what are you doing? Keep keep the jello away from that man. He's a madman. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it could be interesting. There's a lot of things that could happen. A lot of ways it could go down. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Now, before we round this off, I'm going to play one sound from a character, and you have to guess the quote, okay? the the Okay, so the good outcome is if you get this right, Journey, mm -hmm. you win a million dollars. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ah, you will... No backseats. You will, you will secure victory for Eagle Fang and Miyagi Do. If you lose, then Cobra Kai takes over the world. So it will be all your fault. Okay. Okay. And this is okay, canon. So, so the the writer. This is <laughs> this is <laughs> this is canon. Okay, you heard it from yeah. Gianni himself. This is it's canon. All right, I'm ready. I, you know, I got okay. the weight of the world on my shoulders. I feel good. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna play it. a sound. And you are going to guess who it is. Okay, I you didn't want an easy one, so I, I can didn't play want it a few times. I, I do want an easy one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm okay. ready. I can do it. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay. I can play I, again if you need it. Yeah, but can you put it a little closer to the Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it chosen? Oh. Am I already wrong? I wait, can give you wait, a wait, hint. Wait. It's someone we've been. Okay. No. Okay, wait. Yeah, give me a hint. Oh my gosh. I know that. The voice is you... so so familiar. I kind of made it easier for you considering what we've been talking about earlier on. Really? Yeah. Is it silver? Yes. Okay. It's when, okay. It's when he basically in Cry Kid Three when he says to Daniel about like when your enemy's attacking and when you're close enough, and then he goes, "That's Damn. what he does." And then Daniel's like, "Whoa, are we? Why do we need to do that?" So yeah, it's yeah. kind of um, yeah, you got it right. You yeah, no, I'm already off to a bad start. Okay, I don't, I can't even hear the voice of my enemy clearly. That's so bad. We can do All one right. more if you want. We can do one more. Let's um, speed round it. Okay. Oh, dude, which one do I want to pick? Do you want to do okay, like a, I'll do this one. This... Or uh, we can do like one more. We'll do one okay. more. Or you want to okay. do best of three? It's totally up to you. Yeah, best. Um, of, yeah, we can do that. Okay, best of three. Okay. Uh, the next one's like an actual longer line, so I'll play this multiple times. Okay. If I don't pass the trick this semester, my dad's gonna shit in my mouth. Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's that's my favorite line. That's, <laughs> that's my favorite line in the world. Uh, you know, he he gets quoted that a lot. Joe is told <laughs> that a lot. Um, yeah, it's my favorite line. Easy. All right. Boom. I think it. I'm. Do I? Does the first round count? I feel like I lost it. Uh, Maybe I this guess, last one is the decider. I guess the last one is decider. Yeah. I okay. mean, you know, you did kind of get, you did technically get it right. You did say yeah. chosen, but then you said silver. So yeah. I guess that's a practice run. Okay, this is the first one. So you got that <laughs> okay. right. Okay. 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 Next one. Okay. I'm coming for you, bitch. Who's that? Oh, say it again. I'm coming for you, bitch. Whoa. Okay. At first, I was like, that's a Tory line. But, but it sounds more like Samantha. Yes. You got it. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, because no, it's, yes. That's just, it. that really threw me because it sounded like Samantha, but it's that's not something that she'd like ever really say. Right, you know? yeah. Except for obviously she did. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. not a left field for her. But yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's funny because oh. she does that right to Tori at the end of mm. season four, episode six. and Yeah, that, or five. Or you season five? Sorry, no, season no, I said season four. Uh four. it oh. was season four, episode five or six. I think it was six. Okay. Uh but yeah, that was a pretty statement moment. Yeah. Sam. Um okay, last one. Okay. Last one. Oh that's gonna be easy if I do that one. Okay. Do you want me to do a tough okay. one? Do this one. I'm sure you'll get I'm sure I think both of them will be easy for you. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Did you hear that? <laughs> Do it again. Oh, oh, that's chosen. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's okay. chosen's iteration of of uh, Daniel's home. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, you mm. got it. You won three mm -hmm. out of three. Jenny's saved the world now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the master. Well, that, that would be the, the celebration for Dimitri. Yeah. Banzai! That's it. <laughs> Jani, thank you so much for coming on, man. It's been so fun chatting to you about all of this. Yeah. So, yeah, I appreciate you coming back to talk yes. some fun. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for having me, man. And and thank you for not embarrassing me with the challenges. I you know, It would be very embarrassing if I didn't know my castmates' lines. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah sure. I'm glad I, I passed. Uh, no, but no, you, it is great. Thank yeah. you so 